So with the reading and math, and we have brand new series, brand new books, one of the things that we have failed to do many times is provide enough professional development specifically to the new material. An exciting thing happened this year is that we brought in consultants to work directly with the teachers at their sites where the teacher presents or the consultant presents to all the teachers and models a lesson and shows where the things are. But then had opportunity for those consultants from the company to spend a day on each campus and float through those grade level meetings. What questions do you have? What can I help you with? Let me show you where you find intervention material and that type thing. And that piece of it, to save them time. I mean, a teacher can find all that, but man, you've got to have a couple of hours in the evening to sit down and scroll. Who's got that kind of time, you know? And so that type of coaching and providing additional support uh, can save the teacher's time and effort and be able to build better lessons, you know, faster. In every state, there's a set of standards that we go by. And ideally, we take those standards by grade level and look to see based on what text we have, what textbooks, the curriculum that we've purchased in order to do that. And we create an alignment so that they're covering everything through the course of the year, especially those things that are very important to them. And so as we began to look at all of that, the teachers had, had, had chosen power standards. We began to analyze that against the data that we've seen over the last five or six years. We've also met with middle school and high school teachers um, because I wanted to get a list from them. If, if you had the ideal kid coming into your classroom to, for world history, what do they need to have in their head by the time they get to high school? And so they literally listed out for me the biggies. What do you expect to see in science? What do you need them to know? Where are your kids the weakest? What do they need more of? And analysis was a big piece. They just thinking outside the box or taking pieces of information and analyzing it was just not a step you often got to. But it's such a critical piece and we had to make sure we get to have that built back in. Little things like that that are, can be systemic and, and be taught throughout that so we know that by the time they leave elementary, here's this bag full of solids that every kid's taken with them on. So as we looked at all those factors of what was being taught and what we got, we knew we had to make some changes. We also had, um, in the elementary, we had what was basically autonomy. So you, you could choose at your campus what your campus was doing separately. I mean, the same basic curriculum most of the time, but different schools were using different materials for teaching phonics and phonemic awareness uh, and a number of other things. And so began to look at if we created a consistency between the elementary of the materials being used, it would make it a much easier on the students who, for mobility issues, change schools during the year or year to year because that vocabulary changes and you want to hear it the same everywhere you go. Having everybody on the same makes dialogue so much better, makes it so much easier to teach because I can call my friend or message my friend who teaches at a different campus. What are you using? This unit's eating me. You know, I mean, this, this is a tough one. My kids aren't getting it. Help me out here. You know, and if you're on in the same area, now we're not talking every day the same thing. Teachers aren't on the same page every day kind of thing, but the general concepts are being taught. So the depth of communication between teachers and help and, and even with kids, I mean, we're doing the same things. You know, we can, we can help with that. And so as we worked with grade level team meetings to begin to create that common dialogue and what was common together, they began to put together a scope and sequence of what would be taught each quarter. We knew us with everybody, we're always wanting higher scores. It's an important piece of that. But mostly for the kids, you know, that they are capable of handling heavier content, deeper content. They're ready to go on and pursue whatever they choose to in life. You can see the big picture is also as important as teaching the details within. 